Hey everyone, my name is Chris. I've been collecting toys for over 20 years now. You can officially call me a toyaholic. I love collecting all kinds of toys. Pop icon toys, advertising toys, boy toys, girl toys, Happy Meal toys, any kind of toy. If it's something that reminds people of their childhood, I like collecting it. My goal is to move this massive toy collection into a building and call it Mississippi's Totally Awesome Toy Museum. I'd like to turn it into a major tourist attraction for our state where people come from all over the United States to Mississippi to see this awesome collection. So until I get that building, what I'm gonna do now is start inventorying and valuing the collection piece by piece so I can see what it's all worth. My goal is a million dollars, but I don't know if I'll hit it. So what we're gonna to try to value today are three shelves of Disney collectibles. We're gonna work on this Princess and the Frog Tiana collection. Then the shelf below it is Disney Villains. And then at the bottom are more villains and Cruella de Vil. So let's jump right in and start valuing this collection. First, this black and white Cruella de Vil figure is worth about $6. The one in the package here is worth about $6 as well. And the loose figure is worth about $4. Then our Cruella de Vil doll out of the box, she's worth about $40. Then we have the little Tsum Tsum Cruella figure. She's worth about $5. Then we have the Fisher Price Little People Roadster with Cruella and a Dalmatian, and that's worth about $30. Then we have this Pearl Cruella necklace that's valued at $10. We have another figure valued at $4. And then we have this loose Cruella DeVille doll in black, and she's worth about $20. I'll clear off the front row so we can get to the second row of this shelf. And first we have the Cruella doll still in the box and she's worth about $75 from our villain collection. And then we have Cruella in her red outfit and Lou, she's worth about $25. And then we have Cruella DeVille in her power and pinstripes collection and she's worth about $40. I thought she was gonna be worth a little bit more, but $40 is the average price on eBay. All right, then this third row, we had another figure at $4. Then we have this ornament, she's valued at $8. We have the Cruella plush doll, and she's worth about 15. And then we have the bigger 20 inch plush doll, she's worth about $20. And then we have a Villain shopping bag for five and another plush doll at the end for 20. And then one more figure for four. We just have all kinds of hidden goodies on these different rows that I didn't even remember having. So we'll move on up to our second shelf. We have this Evil Queen keychain head. She's worth about $10. Next, we have these Maleficent earrings. They're worth about $10. Next, we have a little Maleficent mini doll she's also worth about ten dollars loose and then we have an evil queen barbie type doll she's worth about thirty dollars then we have a captain hook plastic figure he's worth about 15. this little red box that goes to a play set worth about two dollars and then we have this maleficent ornament she's worth twenty dollars captain hook figure in the package is worth about six dollars and then this loose Mother Gothel doll, she's worth $40, I was surprised. And then we have these Cruella earrings and they're worth about $10.
On this next row, we had some Disney villain stamps hidden away. They're worth about $12. And the Maleficent figure in the package is worth about $6. And the loose Jafar is about $4. Then our big Captain Hook doll, still in the box, is worth $45. I thought he was gonna be worth a little bit more, but eBay says about $45. And then on the back row, we had our villain storybook collection library. It's worth about $25, eBay says. And then we have our Jafar doll still in the box and he's worth a whopping $150. I was glad to see that. And then on the very, very far back row of our second shelf, we have this Disney signature collection of the Evil Queen doll. She's worth $60. Very pretty, very colorful. Then we have this Snow White Evil Queen mask and costume play set, and that's worth about $27. And then we have our Evil Queen from the Great Villains Collection. She's worth $85. And then moving up to our last shelf we're going to cover in this episode is our Princess and the Frog shelf. We have Tiana in her blue dress. She's worth about $10. Next, we have Tiana in her green dress, still in the box. She's worth about $20. Then next we have this little purse tin. It was actually my niece's. We were valued at about $5. And then we have the Princess and the Frog Charlotte doll. And she's worth $37. Then we have Tiana's little purple roadster car. It's worth about $20 loose. And the loose dolls in the car, the big one's worth about five and the small one's worth about $3. And then this loose Tiana doll in the butterfly dress is worth about $5. And then this Tiana doll is from the Disney store and she has cooking utensils and cooking supplies and she sings. She's worth about $75. And then we have the wedding set, and that's Prince Naveen and Tiana, and it's worth about $125 is the average price on eBay right now. Then we had this little Secret Styles mini doll of Tiana worth about $10, and then we had this random Ariel Little Mermaid light-up doll in the corner, and she's worth $25. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these three shelves. I tried to go at a decent speed so you wouldn't get bored and we could cover all the values. So from our first 23 videos we've done so far, that total comes out to be $36,177 so far. And then we can add the total from our Tiana dolls and our villain dolls of $1,248. So this is our 24th video so far of value in my toy collection. Our grand total is $37,425. I hope you're enjoying following this series called Value in My Toy Collection. If you are, just hit that subscribe button and follow the journey with us. So until next time, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.